Welcome to Egypt. Uh, we're happy to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you live in Egypt uh, for three years. Three years. Uh, you live as a Lima and now you're back as an icon. Uh, can you describe the feeling between the uh, Yes, it's great to be back in Egypt. Uh, I lived here when I was uh, 14, 15 years old. And um, my family loved living here. I went to Cairo American College in Mahdi. And um, it's, it's great to be, great to be back. Uh, tell us about a memory you can't uh, forget about Egypt. I uh, made a lot of, a lot of good friends. Um, the school that I went to, the kids were from all over the world, so I made a lot of friends from Egypt, from, uh, all over Europe, uh, American friends, uh, and then I traveled throughout Egypt with my family. So we went uh, to Aswan and Luxor, uh, we went uh, to Alexandria, El Alamein, we went to all these places. and. Uh, I learned to speak Arabic. Um, Shwaya. <laughs> uh, but uh, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. You met Salah at Anfield. Uh, he posted a photo with you and say uh, you are a legend. Uh, what kind of position do you have with him? With who? With Salah. With Salah. Oh, with Mo Salah. Uh, I just met him um, last week. England, I went to Liverpool, and uh, he's my favorite player uh, because he's a great player, but also a uh, great human being. He's, uh, he does a lot. He does a lot for his country and for his people. I respect that. So I'm a Liverpool fan. It was a great honor to meet him. Uh, you are a Liverpool fan, as you say. Can you choose a player from Liverpool who can play basketball in the uh, uh, Yes, uh, Virgil. Virgil Van Dijk. Uh, he's a great athlete. Big, strong. 6'4", uh, 6'5". Really strong. I think Virgil could be a good basketball player. Uh, how do you see the competition next season uh, in the NBA? Uh, and do your chances uh, to uh, save uh, Keeping the, the uh, oh, the chance of keeping the title. I think we have a good chance, um, but it's going to be very difficult. A lot of great teams in the NBA, and um, it always requires some luck. Uh, injuries, uh, one shot you know, goes in or misses. Um, so we have a good, good opportunity, but you never know. Uh, can Golden State keep his uh, biggest stars uh, after the salary cap? Uh, that's what we're trying. We're trying to do. It's very difficult. Uh, the, uh, our owner is very uh, generous and uh, very smart. And so he's been able to keep the team together. Uh, and it gets more and more difficult every year. So we'll see. Uh, who is the current NBA player? Do you uh, come on out of your team? Uh, do you would like to coach him? Are there a, a different NBA player? Um, Giannis. Yeah, I would love to coach Giannis. He seems uh, he's obviously a great player, but he seems like a great, great person too. Uh, what do you know about Egyptian basketball? I know that Zamalek is uh, he's very good, and they won the African club. Uh, Championship, yeah, and um, I know it's gotten much better. When I lived here, when I was 14, 15, uh, there wasn't one basketball arena in all of Egypt, not one. Not one. All of our games that we played when I was at CAC, we played Zamala Club, Gazira Club, Mahdi Club. We played outside, outside. So. There was no gym, no, no arena. And so the, now, today, it seems like the game, basketball, is much more popular in Egypt. And more, more children are playing, playing basketball. Thank you.